um hi guys welcome back to my channel um i hope that this video series has been of great help to you um so in this tutorial we are going to be solving questions under a very interesting topic i still love this topic so much quadratic equations okay and it is not difficult at all so let's talk about this one the question says find the equation whose roots are 2 over 3 and minus 1 over 4. Now, the first thing you need to understand when the question says root, you know, when you solve a quadratic equation, a quadratic equation is usually written in this form say ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, right? When you solve this expression, usually you have two values of x, right? So now they're saying if these are the values of x, find the equation that existed. Now you can easily just say x is equal to 2 over 3 and x is equal to minus 1 over 4. Put this um such a way that your value <coughs> put this in such a way that zero is on the right multiply them together and you find your quadratic equation right but there's also a formula method to this okay so the quadratic equation whenever you're giving roots is simply x squared minus the sum of the roots x plus the product of the root is equal to zero okay so this is like a faster method so what you need to do is to find the sum of these values find the product of the value and insert them into the equation so what's the sum of two, two over three and one over four so this is like saying two over three um minus one over four right so your lcm is 12 three in 12 is four four times two is eight minus four in 12 is three three times one is three so you, you end you end up with six all over sorry five all over 12 okay now what's the product of the root you multiply your numerator, you have minus 2. You multiply your denominator, you have 12. This is the same as minus 1 over 6. So this is the sum of our root. This is the product of our root. Now, if we bring it into this equation, we have x squared minus um, sum of the roots, 5 over 12, 5 over 12x plus product of the root, minus 1 over 6, okay? Which this one multiply this one to give minus is equal to 0. So your equation is x squared minus 5 <coughs> over 12x minus 1 over 6 is equal to 0. Now, to eliminate this fraction, because um, it's better we eliminate the fraction, right? To eliminate this fraction, just multiply every value by the LCM of these three values. 1, 12, and 6. 12 is my LCM. If I multiply every value by that, x squared times 12, it becomes 12x squared. X, um, 12 times, sorry, 5 over 12x times 12, it just becomes minus 5x. And here it will become um, minus 2 is equal to 0. So the answer is 12x squared minus 5x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, I'm thinking, did I make a mistake somewhere? Because I'm seeing plus 2 here. This is my closest answer, but why am I seeing plus 2 here? Did I make a mistake? If we use the second approach, we'll have 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. I will have 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. 3x minus 2 multiplied by 4x plus 1. Okay, so I've just solved this using the other approach, which is to multiply... Um, these values and I still get got the same answer. So 12x squared minus 5x minus 2 is equal to 0. So I would say that there was a mistake in this answer. This should have been minus. And if that was so, our value, our answer is option A. So our question number two is quite similar to the first question. It's just that this time around, let's use that other method where we just say our values is equal to this and this. So it says find the quadratic equation whose root are one, minus 1 over 2 and 3. So we say x is equal to minus 1 over 2, but x is also equal to what? 3. Now, if I cross multiply here, this becomes 2x minus 1 is, sorry, 2x is equal to minus 1. If minus 1 comes over here, we have 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So we have our first expression. Here, if 3 comes over here, x minus 3 is equal to 0. What you do now is to multiply the two values and equate to 0. So we have x minus 3 multiplied by 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Then you just open it, multiply it. You use the value here to multiply everything here. Use this value here to multiply everything here. So we have x open bracket 2x plus 1 minus 3 open bracket 2x plus 1. So it's like we're going in reverse of if we were doing a factorization method and solving a quadratic equation. So let's multiply this. x times 2x, we have 2x squared. x times 1, we have x. Minus 3 times 2x, we have minus 6x. Minus 3 times plus 1, we have, <coughs> we have minus 3 is equal to 0. 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. Our answer is C. So this question, uh, question number three, is like asking us to solve a quadratic equation, right? And usually there are two uh, most common ways to solve a quadratic equation. You can either, either use the factorization method 
or you can use the um the formula method which is the almighty formula here i'll be using the factorization factorization method um to tackle this question so first of all it doesn't really look like a collateral equation right because usually the format of a collateral equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero but here we're not having anything zero all you have to do is to move your values from the right to the left so this becomes 6x squared minus 5x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now you can solve. So to use the factorization method, what you simply do is to multiply the first and the last values. So this becomes 6x squared, right? 6x squared times 1 is 6x squared. Next, you look for two values. And when you multiply them, you have 6x squared. And when you add or subtract them, <coughs> you have minus 5x. So I know that 3x and 2x can be those two values. Now let's put the um the the signs okay so that so that we don't have an error so i know that the multiplication of these two values should give us this and this is a positive value right but when we add them we're supposed to have a negative value so if i put minus and minus here i know that when i multiply minus 3x and minus 2x minus will cancel minus well and so we end up with a positive value but if we add these two values together minus 3x minus 2x will definitely give us minus 5x right so these are our two values correct now we're going to substitute these values <coughs> for 5x into this equation so it becomes 6x squared minus 3x minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, take two of them in um, uh, fractions or segments and then find what's common. What's common to 6x squared and 3x? I believe it's 3x is common to two of them. Open bracket. Here we we'll have just 2x left minus 1. And here it's like 1 is common to them. But say minus 1 is common to them. And you have 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. These values must be the same thing so that you can pick out 1 and say 2x minus 1 Multiply by, you pick this one together, 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. Next, you equate these values separately as on their own to 0. So if we have 2x minus 1 equals to 0, we have 3x minus 1 equals to 0. This means that 2x is equals to 1. This also means that 3x is equals to 1, right? 1 comes over here. Now, if you divide this one, both sides by 2 here, you have x is equals to 1 over 2. And if you divide both sides by 3 here, you have x is equals to 1 over 3. 1 over 2, 1 over 3, our answer is C. Okay, so our question number 4 here says, solve for x and y, if x minus y is 2 and x squared minus y squared is equal to 8. So this looks like some sort of like a simultaneous equation, okay? But I'm guessing that we should end up with a quadratic equation. I'm not sure, but let's, let's, let's tackle this. So for my first equation here, x minus y is equal to 2. This can be written as x is equals to 2 plus y, okay? So I move this one over here, right? Now, if I take this value and substitute it for x in this equation, it becomes 2 plus y all squared minus y squared is equal to 8, right? So to break this one that we have 2 plus y multiplied by 2 plus y, right? Minus y squared is equal to 8. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times y is 2y. Y times 2 is 2y. And y times y is y square minus y square is equal to 8. And it's like this one will cancel out, okay? So it's like I'm not having a quadratic equation here. So here we have 4 plus 4y is equal to 8. So 4y is equal to 8 minus 4. If you call it like terms, then 4y is equal to 4. That means that y is equal to 1, right? Remember we said earlier that x is equal to 2 plus y, right? So if I take my value for 1, y, and put it here as 1, we have x is equal to 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. So your value for x and y is 1 and 3, or, sorry, 3 and 1. So 3 comma 1, x comma y, which is... So, they didn't put it in that order, but this should be your answer. So, we have um, question number five here, which is our last question for this tutorial. It says, find the quadratic equation whose roots are 1 plus root 13 and 1 minus root 13. So, <laughs> it's like you have a sword as their roots. Okay, so let's tackle this using that formula I mentioned earlier. So, we said that to find that when we have something like that, it's simply x squared minus the sum of roots, okay, multiplied by x plus the product of the roots is equal to zero. So let's find the sum of these values and the product of the value. Sum, addition, right? This would be 1 plus root 13 plus 1 minus root 13. 1 plus 1 is 2, right? Root 13 plus minus root 13. Root 13 minus root 13 is zero. So that just cancels. That means our sum is 2. Let's find the product. So we have... 1 plus root 13 multiplied by 1 minus root 13. Let's break this down. 1 times 1 is 1. 
1 times root 13 is minus root 13. Root 13 times 1 is plus root 13. And root 13 times root 13, this gives us minus 13. Minus root 13 plus root 13 will cancel out. We are left with 1 minus 13, which is minus 12, right? So now let's bring our value into here. It becomes x squared minus, our sum is 2, so minus 2x. And our product is minus 12, so minus 12 is equal to 0. x squared minus 2x minus 12 is equal to 0. That is B.